Okay, okay, we are back with some Clearo, dude. She's doing a cover of Brooklyn Baby. I had to fucking check it out. I have to, I have to, I have to. Although on Twitter, dude, I saw LDR Crave and another like Lana fan account tweet this, like Clairo's covering this song, you know? And like 80% of the replies were like, no, she can keep it. You know, like, like people talking shit. And I'm like, why do people hate Clairo? What What is wrong with you? I feel like Clairo is pretty fucking sick. Um and her covering lana like that's awesome as fuck you know what i mean so what do people got against claro what, what's the hate coming from you know what i mean like maybe if it was like claro did something controversial then sure shit on her but if she's just covering a fucking song why the toxicity it just it, it pisses me off it's like you just kind of make lana fans look bad and you shouldn't be fucking doing that have a fucking have a soul have a heart dude be real with yourself come on um, so all you fucking haters, y'all, y'all are weird as fuck. Y'all are weird as fuck. Anyways, Brooklyn Baby by Claro. Um, the original rating, I went back from two years ago. It was two years ago when I first heard Brooklyn Baby and my rating was eight, nine. Spoiler alert. Um, and over time, it definitely went up. That was two fucking years ago. Over time, Brooklyn Baby nowadays is probably like, it might even be like a nine, eight or something. You know what I mean? Reverse that shit. Anyways, enough yapping. Let's check it out. Produced by Claro and Leon Michaels. They say I'm too young to love you I don't know what I need They think I don't understand The freedom land of the 70s I think I'm too cool to know love okay. They say I'm like the ice I freeze I'm churning out novels like Poetry on oh, here we go. That's nice. Loud. Okay. Okay, okay. First impressions. Lana definitely clears. I'm gonna keep it real. Yes, I Lana definitely does it better. I mean it's her song and plus like you know what I mean? It's just OG Brooklyn Baby is unbeatable. Um, <clears throat> but it's still nice. I think it's still nice. She does... I don't know if she's layering her vocals and they're like exactly on top of each other. But there's like a vocal effect that I'm not too big on. Um, but she's still executing the vocals on point. Um, you know what I mean? Like you can tell that she knows Brooklyn Baby. She listens to this song or has listened to it a lot. Um, so it is pretty freaking cool, but I definitely can tell that the Lana version is, you know, superior for sure. They say I'm too young to love you. They say I'm too dumb to see. They judge me like a picture book. By the colors like they forgot to read. I think we're like fire and water. Oh, I like that line, the wind and sea. Like the wind and sea. That's I don't do the writing on this song is so good. I've been saying I need more ultraviolence in my rotation, dude. Ultraviolence was like when I first got into Lana, like two years ago, <clears throat> Ultra Violence was in my rotation a lot. But nowadays, it's like, it's not really there as much as it used to be. It's very rarely there. Like, Brooklyn Baby will come on once every, like, 100 songs or something. You know what I mean? Uh, so I got to make some new playlists and throw in more Ultra Violence because I miss it. I miss that psychedelic sound, dude. The 
drums with a little bit of reverb in there. Wait, doesn't uh doesn't Lana do it here with like a, a Brooklyn accent kinda or like a New York accent? Um it sounds like she tried to replicate that. But also what was that glitching effect? Okay, she's 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 matching it, but Lana just does that better. Explain it. You know what I mean? Like Lana just nails that shit, dude. Uh Clara's doing good though. Um, although I don't get the glitching effect. It happened twice in the bridge. I don't understand that. It wasn't there in the original, you know what I mean? Brooklyn Baby original. But I get like where you want to like do things maybe a little bit differently and tweak things. But I feel like they're already doing it like kind of differently enough. I feel like adding a glitching effect is one of those things that just it's just too different i guess it's like if you're gonna go glitch effect you might as well go all out glitches and digital sounds you know what i mean don't just do a little glitch in the bridge it just it doesn't really make sense <laughs> <laughs> Classic. They even got a guy to do like background vocals for the final chorus, like in the original song. That's cool. Is it? Is it? No, this is completely remade from the ground up. So that's someone else that they got. It's nice. It's nice. She cooked. True, Riley. True. That was fire. I like it. I think that was pretty fucking good. Oh, oh it was fine. I think that was pretty fucking good. Like, <clears throat> I, I still think the original Lana one's better. And I'm sure if you ask Claro herself, she'll say the Lana one's better. Because it's just, it's iconic. It's a fucking iconic track. You know what I mean? But I think she executed pretty freaking well. Although... The, the glitch sound the glitch sound i was not, i don't understand that although it was only in the bridge for like two places so it's not like a big thing at all it's tiny i just it was just kind of like why why just saw this on reddit thank you i'm an amazon music girly oh because it's like a spotify only thing love it i have spotify so this is fine um this isn't they need to add this to apple music lana's true daughter <laughs> <laughs> she ruined it down vote get out of here dude she didn't ruin shit cry about it jesus christ i don't get why are people so mad i mean like 
It's only one comment out of seven. But on Twitter, so many people were hating, and it just blows my fucking mind. What did Claro do? I remember before people were all like, oh, Claro's an industry plant. Yeah, her dad owns a fucking Starbucks. That's that's an industry plant. I, I don't... Dude, I'm sorry, man. I don't know what to fucking tell you. Get over it. And even if someone is an industry plant, if they're making fucking top-tier music without, like, a big fucking production team, then why the fuck you hating? You know what I mean? Like, Claro did shit in her bedroom by herself and made top-tier fucking music, all right? So industry plant this, industry plant that. I don't give a fuck if it's good music. It's good fucking music, bitch. I'm... I don't understand the hate. I'm not even like a super big fan of Claro. So me getting like this over Claro, I, I think it's just the negativity and the people online just being fucking stupid. That's what really pisses me off. Uh, and I don't think Claro deserves any of that shit. It's ridiculous. But enough of that dog shit. The song, I think it was awesome. Like I said, I do think Lauren did it better, but I think Claro did it justice. Um, really cool cover, man. I like it. Keep elite. Keep. What will I rate this track? I gave the original Brooklyn Baby an 8-9 back in the day. I updated that to like a 9-8 nowadays. For the cover, I'll give it an 8-9. No, I'll give it an 8-8. I'll give it an 8-8. Not an 8-9. 8-8. 8-8 because she did eat and so did the produ production people. Um, it could definitely climb up there. But for now, man, 8-8. Uh, w cover. And I hope y'all also like the cover as well. 8-8.